So in this video, I am going to go over um, integration with or integration by trigonometric substitution. And um, I've seen a lot of people have trouble with this, and um, and I've seen it taught by a few different people in a few different places. And a lot of the times, it's taught in a really uh, I don't want to say wrong, but bad way. Um, like they'll tell you to just remember these substitutions and sometimes they can seem completely arbitrary and a lot of the times people have trouble thinking uh, where does this come from so uh, here's a way that I well that I was taught and I think it's the best way because uh, it involves no memorization it's just completely logical you can always figure out what to substitute with and there's no no trouble. I, I've been using it for like years, and it's it's the best. All right, so let's see. Um, I feel like the best way to show this is to just do an example. So let's see. Uh, we've got integral. And we're gonna. Well, what is this? Let me just write this down. It's gonna be the square root of 25x squared. Bear with me for one second, and okay. Damn it. Okay. Um, minus four. Uh, do do over x dx, and um, this kind of looks scary. Uh, a lot of people might be like, uh, how, "How do I do this?" So, um, one thing is when it this this term sort of waves the red flag that you need to do trigonometric substitution. If I, if the problem didn't say, if the problem just said evaluate this integral, and that's it, didn't tell you to use trigonometric substitution, um, pretty much this, this again is the red flag, this top term. But you got the square root of um, either the sum or difference of two squares. And um, now here let's we'll do a little aside everyone knows that Pythagorean theorem is this a squared plus b squared equals c squared now uh, what is what does this form of this top term represent it represents uh, solving this for one of the legs so if we do that let's say we solve for a a equals the square root uh, c squared minus b squared. You see that? See how they're the same? So, in our case, let's do a new line. c equals, well, c squared equals 25x squared, so c equals 5x, and b equals 2, because b squared is 4. So, this is, this is, the, this is the logic behind this um, technique, or this method is that you, you take this information you say all right well one of the legs is this square root equals one of the legs and the hypotenuse is 5x and the other leg is 2 and you have a choice to which one you you choose and here's what I mean here's an image of a triangle and um, from this c is equal to 5x, so we put 5x in the uh, hypotenuse uh, area, and one of the legs is equal to 2. It can either be this one on the right, or it could be the bottom one. Either one works, um, and, I'll, and um, let's see, this would be your theta. I'm in paint, so pretend that's a theta. <laughs> so that's your theta down here. So we know that, oh, maybe I can do a little there we go. So um, now, basically, from this, you make any sort of relation you want. And now we know that this leg down here is going to be the square root um, from this whole logic up here. So uh, we want an expression for x because we want to substitute x in this expression with the expression for theta because that's the ultimate goal. So let's see, from this we see that the sine of theta is 2 over 5x. So let's just uh, 
So the sine of theta equals 2 over 5x. And if we solve for x, let's see, well 1 over sine is cosecant theta. And that's equal to 5x over 2. And then you bring the 2 over, divide by the 5. Alright, so x is equal to 2 fifths cosecant theta. So, uh, that's our substitution. 2 fifths cosecant theta. And we'll take this up here and we'll replace x by 2 fifths cosecant theta. It's gonna look a little crazy, but I'm gonna show each step just, you know, because equals that. And, uh, well, well, when we put this square through, it's going to be cosecant squared. This is going to be 4. This is going to be 25. And then we got the 25 down here, canceling with the 1 up here. So that's 4. Uh, let's just take this out. There. And then this will become a 5 halves up here. Okay, so for the next step. We got, well, we can factor out this 4 as a 2 from the uh, radical. Oops. And um, now, as a little aside, a little aside, we know that um, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. And if we divide by, if we divide that expression by sine theta, we get cotangent squared theta plus 1 equals cosecant squared theta because 1 over sine squared theta is cosecant squared theta. Um, now, we just um, move this 1 to the right hand side and um, I'll just do that I'll just do that right here because I don't want to start a new line. And there we go. This is the same as in the radicand, so we know that inside the radical is cotangent squared. From and this is all just this is just algebra. So, well, cotangent squared square root is just cotangent, and then uh, cosecant is one over sine, but it's in the denominator. So it's this is really sine, and then well cotangent is cosine over sine. So cosine over sine times sine is just cosine. Uh, now we're not done because we still have an x. We don't want an x. We have that dx. We have to replace all the x terms with theta. So how do we get an x? Um, how do we get rid of this? Um, well, we go up to our x expression right here, and we just um, differentiate both. We differentiate it, um, and um, we'll solve for dx. So if we do that, we'll get dx d theta equals uh, two fifths. The derivative of cosecant is uh, negative cosecant theta cotangent oops cotangent theta and now uh, dx we quote unquote multiply by both sides d theta now alright so this is our dx so dx is this expression right here really important to do this a lot of mistakes people forget to get the dx so we replace this dx oops now Let's just uh, start it. Nah, let's do it right here. We'll replace the dx with this. And uh, we see that the 2 fifths cancels with the 5 halves. The negative goes outside. <coughs> we'll bring the 2 outside as well. And uh, let's just bring this out of the parentheses. So. We have, well, cos, well, let's see, cotangent 